Welcome back, and we start the second part with France. We uh, move to France, where the far-right National Front made historic gains in the first round of yesterday's regional elections. Marine Le Pen's party is ahead in six out of 13 regions, but still faces an uphill battle in a run-off vote set for next week. The morning after its regional elections, France woke up on the right side, metaphorically speaking. The far-right National Front, or FN party, is the big winner of the first round of the poll, winning nearly a third of the ballots cast and 28 percent of the projected vote nationwide. The party's leader, Marine Le Pen, does not sound surprised. The truth is that the National Front maintains French people's trust more and more, election after election. And once again, if you have some analytical capacities and connection with the people, you realize that there is no surprise in yesterday's results. This trust will continue to grow. I'm telling you so that next time you won't be surprised either. Prepare yourself psychologically. The FN is ahead in six out of 13 regions in France, and many of its votes came at the expense of the ruling Socialist Party led by President Francois Hollande, which received only 23 percent of the vote. The center-right Republican Party, led by former President Nicolas Sarkozy, came second with around 27 percent. Sarkozy dismissed the possibility of an alliance with the Socialists for the next round of voting in order to keep the far right out of power. Dear fellow citizens, I know the responsibility which is waiting on the shoulders of our political family. We have to remain clear-headed about the weight of the task awaiting us. A series of attacks in Paris, which took place less than a month before the elections, apparently influenced French voters who are more concerned about security and Muslim migrations to the country. Le Pen said in the past that France cannot take any more migrants. A second round of voting will take place on December 13. And although a general election will be held only in 2017, the results of the regional elections could well indicate the political route France is now taking. And with me right now on the phone is Christian Malad, I-24 News International Analyst. Good evening, Christian. Yes, good evening, Lucy. So, Christian, what are the chances that Marie Le Pen will find herself at the president's uh, chair? Well, let's, let's put it this way. Before the second round next uh, Sunday or week from now, let's say that the far-right party and Marine Le Pen have a chance to really have two to three regions out of the six where they have been heading uh, for the first round. So definitely it will be a success for them. It's unheard of in the history, political history of France. And definitely, once more, I would like to reiterate what I said sometimes, that the consequences, that the reasons why there is a strong uh, show of uh, the far-right party is two reasons. First, um, globally, so many French are fed up with the economic failure of the Socialist Party and the French government of President Hollande. It's one of the reasons. And second thing is security versus uh, the raise of Muslim fundamentalism. You have to understand that. She has been the first one for years and years to say, we are not doing anything against the rise of these Muslim cells we have, uh, Muslim fundamentalist cells we have in various parts of the country. And definitely when we had these terrorist attacks last November the 13th, of course, it was easy for her to say, look at what I said many years ago. Nobody take it into, took it into account. Not the right traditional right-wing party of Monsieur Sarkozy, nor the Socialist Party and the pre French President Hollande. Yeah, so but Christian, French... Christian, we are talking about a really extreme ideological women with really extreme ideological ideas. She is, um, you know, I, 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 as we are seeing the French people who are open, liberal, who have a lot of, uh, you know, immigrants are, are facing with the migrant crisis, to take this woman as an example and to say she was right is maybe the French people are also forgetting that even if she will take control, at the end of the day, she needs to face with the foreign issues and she won't be in a vacuum only handling the inner politics of France. She will have to handle also more battles on foreign grounds that France is right now handling. No, but let's put it this way. You are right. You put the finger on many things, a very sensitive point. Definitely, people should be warned by the fact that uh, 
she could be an economic and political danger. And let, me, let me use the word danger. First, she wants to withdraw from the, she does she wants to stop with the euro currency to not to depend too much on the parliament in Brussels, the, the European Commission. Uh, she wants to get out of NATO. She wants to have an axis Paris, Berlin, Moscow. She wants to get closer to the Russian. She wants to not to depend on what she called the Euro Atlantic bloc. Definitely, when people will hear that, they will find more about a foreign policy and what would she do economically uh, at the, on the internal level. Definitely, they would probably start thinking. And it is why the traditional right wing party and the socialist government of President Holland tried to put the focus on during this coming week before the second round to say she's not reliable. Look at what she, was, she is going to do. But, you know, the French have decided once more, you have to to think that the French have decided they are so fed up uh, with the incumbent government and they don't trust anymore Mr. Sarkozy, not that many of them. So she has a free highway, as I say very often, in front of her. And definitely she will get results. She will get two or three provinces. So let's say it's a possibility. Yes, uh, Christian Malal, thank you uh, very much uh, for this. And uh, let's uh, go here to the studio with uh, Itzhak Levanon, Israeli ambassador. <coughs> and, uh, uh, you know, I, I need to understand. You know, I would like to think that the French people are intelligent people. I would like to think that when they are putting the vote on an extreme woman like this, they are putting a vote that maybe will send France to a really, really dark place, anti-Semitic place, really extreme place, that will, at the end of the day, make them pay the price. Lucy, first of all, uh, let's put everything in proportion. We are talking about local elections, a kind of a municipal elections. Those are not the legislative, that are not the general elections, which will take place in a year and a half from now, and the presidential for sure. So basically, France, the state of France, all the parties, the people, the population, they still have time to make some rectifications, quote unquote, uh, in order to come to these general elections in a different you know, position. I remember in the 80s, when I was there in France, and François Mitterrand, the socialist, was elected president, they had the elections, and for the first time, the father of Marine Le Pen, Jean-Marie Le Pen, uh, the, uh, the polls shows that he's going to win like 20 to 25 percent, which was unheard before. And François Mitterrand, as France today, they have a march of maneuvering. And he did it. He did an alliance with the communists, and Marine Le Pen had only 9 percent and he was a marginal party for like 20 years. But let's not forget that we are talking about very important ministries. We're talking, although you're saying these are just little bit things in proportion, we're just talking it about regional elections. It is a victory for elections. her, definitely. This is a big victory because definitely, this has yes. a big influence on education, on welfare, on issues that right now France is dealing with concerning the terror attacks because everybody's talking about education as maybe some kind of a way or a path that is leading to terrorism the ghettos that uh, the migrants are living in I don't in. think I Lucy I don't think that the uh, direct result of those elections uh, there are because of what happened you know 2 or 3 weeks ago in Paris and the attacks etc those attacks triggered yes look the majority of the of the french people they are liberals they would like to, to keep really the value of liberalism, democracy, etc. But you still have a very strong national movement, which is the one of Marie Le Pen. She succeeded in the last six or seven years to change the image of the party. It is correct. Her father was anti-Semite. He was uh, Islamophobe. He was xenophobia. Everything, I mean, everything which against the democracy his father was, number one, uh, front runner, let's say, in this. She succeeded to change the picture and the image of the party, and now she's talking in a different terms. She's talking she, in terms of Islamophobia. She is taking, uh, uh, she took, no, maybe I, she understood the Jewish lobby, she understood that being anti Semitic is not going to work for her, and she has been managing to walk between the, the let's say, drops look, of. The elections were expected, and the victory was expected. The only thing which is a surprise is the, the extent of that victory. And this is why we saw this morning in Liberation newspapers the shock. 
I mean, this is the title. The, 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 the French this people the are shock. still in shock. This, this is, is this is the shock, <laughs> and everybody is in shock. I, I mean, uh, regarding the, the Jewish community, you have to make the difference between the regular Jews living in France and the Jewish institution. The Jewish institution publicly today published a communique against calling the rest of the community to vote against. But you have still, with Marie Le Pen, few Jews who voted for her. Yeah, and uh, we heard some kind of a call today for the Jewish people not to forget their morals yes. uh, when they are putting uh, the vote uh, uh, there. Uh, thank you uh, very much uh, thank for you. this. Uh, the National Front has uh, gained much of its uh, strength in uh, France's uh, south, a shift for a region formerly solidly on the left. But now many of these former immigrants have veered right because of a new wave of them, basically. I-24 News correspondent Julia Ganosia has more. All of the opinion polls were saying the same. She would win the first place. For once, those voting intention polls were right. Just like her aunt Marie Le Pen, Marion Maréchal Le Pen completely knocked out the opposition this Sunday in the Paca region. With about 41 percent of the votes, she even got ahead of the socialist Christophe Castaner and Christian Estrosi's list. Usually, Marion Maréchal Le Pen is the first one to react on Twitter. But even in her most optimistic moments, the 25-year-old member of the parliament had never imagined getting such a high score. For Christian Estrosi, the right-wing party, it's a hammer blow. The MP, also mayor of the Nice, has received 17 percent less votes than the extreme right candidate. The former Nicolas Sarkozy minister warned his region against becoming an extremism laboratory. By scoring the second position, the voters have made of our list the only possible alternative to the far right. This candidate has never stopped insulting, stigmatizing and dividing the people living in our region. Ms. Le Pen poses a great threat to our living together philosophy. For the left-wing party, the blow is even harder to bear. In this region led by leftists since 1998, no one believed in the victory of socialist MP Christophe Castaner. The politician even withdrew his candidature for the second turn of the election later that night. The situation is critical. The number of votes scored by the National Front is a threat, a threat to the values of the Republic, a threat on the Republic's fights, and being responsible means withdrawing myself. So it is obviously with a lot of emotions, a great sadness, and many thanks addressed to all of those who are around me today and who fought for this election everywhere in the Provence and who fought for this election in the PACA area, that I am taking my responsibilities and withdrawing myself from this political fight and calling on the people to block the National a withdrawal bearing heavy consequences for the Socialist Party, since it won't have any elected representative in the new regional council. As for the youngest member of the General Assembly, she will hold her in between turns, meeting this Wednesday in Marseille, before traveling to Paris on Thursday for an electoral meeting with the leaders of the National Front.